Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Cebalski. The first four games of this playoff series have been intense, physical, and I expect nothing less than game five. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. This is what you're playing for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. And the puck's burned away. Taken by Pendenza. Quick feed to Carpenter. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Stop that one. Takes the feed at the point. Takes it to the net. Saved with the glove by Bittner. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Greenville's got the puck at center. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Puck grabbed by Carpenter. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. Such as off to the box. Two minutes for tripping. comes out for the faceoff. First power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one. And analytics will tell you, when you score first, chances are you win the game. Puck picked up by Riley. Greenville's got possession while under man. Riley's been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it. And the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. Good heads up play with the pitch. Moves it quickly over to Stars. And that kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it. James gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. Well, this is just a perfectly executed shot, James, as he drops into his butterfly position. He's trying to make himself as big as possible and get his blocker on it. He just can't catch up to it. The Swamp Rabbits get on the board here first. I'm not surprised, Cheryl. This team has been buzzing already. Oh, well, they've been buzzing, but most importantly, James, they've been dialed in. You can see it in their intensity right from the puck drop and their first few strides all over the ice. They've been incredible to start this game. Play continues. Listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud and recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James. I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. And hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board. And guess what? The goaltender knows it. The Everblades will get a small sample size of a five on three. Well, in a one-goal deficit on the power play now, you have to take advantage. You have to find a way to get the coverage moving and find good scoring opportunities. Such a penalty has expired. Florida's been working hard all game, a reason why they're still in it, and they had an opportunity to cut the deficit. And we are tied after that power play mark. Well, it's perfectly executed, and the coach has the most skilled offensive players out there for that very reason. They tied the game. Lots of time left in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Greenville's won the draw in the neutral zone. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Now over to Moberg. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Across the line along the left wall. Takes a shot. Too many bodies in the way. Bednard's last 
last save was outstanding, James. I mean, it was a valiant effort. That's what gets it done. It's beyond the skill to be able to make a save. It is the will and the compete level that energizes everyone around them. Puck scooped up by Mover. Across the line from center. Here's a shot. Turned aside with the glove by Bednar. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. It's all tied up. The Swamp Rabbits win the defensive zone faceoff. Working the puck deep inside their own end. The Swamp Rabbits take it across the blue line. Shot! But profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Great defensive effort with the stick. Here's a short pass to Lewis. Puts it on net. Oh, a shot save! The Everblades take it along the wall. Moves it to the middle. And that shot's blocked. Here they come on the attack down the right side. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Florida's looking to break out of their own end. Here they come on the attack. Takes a watch but still hangs on. Tosses it on to Eberle. The Swamp Rabbits play it along the boards. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Nice zone entry on the left side. Quick shot! And he gets just enough of it with the glove and keeps it out. And the puck leaves the zone. Sandbrook's taking it from his own end. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Looks to pass it to Jostling. Fires it! Big time stop! Takes control of the puck. Picked off by Such. The Swamp Rabbits move it in. He got all that hit. Sends the pass over. The Swamp Rabbits get a hold of the puck along the boards. Kent stick handling in his own zone. Pucks it away in his own end. And Gens is tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Extra attacker out to apply the pressure with the goaltender at the bench. And another call against the home team and these fans have, I think they've had enough. They've had enough and they're booing at the officials and for the players. This is so frustrating. You try and kind of get the temperature of the way the official's going to call the game and real tough to read when you get three in a row like that. Listen, a power play, you want to make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot. And that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1 where they were able to capitalize. It's about opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move around, and then firing and executing when you have it. Handles the puck. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And there's the whistle stopping the play. The Everblades are going to be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. A little four-on-four four hockey as both teams step inside the face-off circle. Four-on-four, four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet the coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. The Swamp Rabbits get a hold of the puck in their own end. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Great poke check on the reach. Slides the puck over. The Swamp Rabbits penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. Greenville's got possession of the puck. Across the line. The Everblades will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Play is called for offside. Darcy's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Melbourne standing up, ready to go. 
takes the hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. And the man advantage unit comes up empty-handed. We keep things deadlocked with both teams back at even strength. Well, that power play needs to have more urgency. All perimeter movement. Someone has to pay the price and get to the most coveted spot on the ice, and that is right in front of the tender. Shot! And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Picked up along the boards by Martin. One-timer! And knocks it down out of midair. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Here's a chance! Stops him with a glove! We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Here in the later stages of this period, we are all tied up in this one. The Everblades win the draw. Jocelyn for the puck and he loses control. Moves it to Freeman. The Swamp Rabbits carry it along the wall. Feeds it down low. Pass back to the point. And turns aside the slapper with ease. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face off set to go. Greenville's won the draw. Pass to the front. Fantastic save. Cormier's been outstanding. I mean, he gets to position to be able to make that point playing save. Jocelyn's moving the puck through his own zone. Moves it around along the half wall. And that's intercepted by Jocelyn. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Here's a pass to the middle, and it's blocked. Puck goes out of play. We got a face-off coming up. Greenville's got the win off that draw. And now it's grabbed by Everly. And he slides it quickly to Such. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Florida's got the puck. The Everblades will play it from the defensive zone. Takes a shot. Phenomenal save with the glove to knock it away. The goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason. And this time, he bails his team out. for the desperation save, the complete, the will to keep that puck out of the net, and they're really showing him the way. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Here we go, goaltenders at the bench. They got the extra attacker out with the delayed penalty. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Some fragile timing here, James, at the end of the period. It's a close game. The peak airs have to get to work. They can get some rest in the intermission, and they can start the next period. minutes of action here tonight we've got lots more still to come second period is just around the corner
The Swamp Rabbits are up by one, and this is certainly a team that seems to play with more confidence when they're not chasing the game, Cheryl. Yeah, it's always better to be when you're in front, James. I mean, you know that you have the lead. You have a little more confidence when the puck's on your stick, but there's a lot of runway left. They have to play with that confidence, but they have to manage the puck as well. Handles the pass at center. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. Grabbed along the board by Carpenter. Florida's got a hold of the puck now. And he takes the feed. Shot! My goodness, what a save by Pittman! Right up the gut into the attacking zone. The Everblades have it from their own end. Quick pass to Carpenter. And he coughs it up with the pass. Cormier's got the puck and he's going to hang on. The Everblades have had multiple scoring opportunities, but they still trail in the second. Florida's taking possession in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Let's see what the official says here. Tough spot to be in. You need momentum and you give it back by going on the PK when you're trailing by one. Greenville's got a five on three and the clock's their BFF here. With all this time on the five on three, yes, you can be more patient, but you don't want to get low to sleep on the outside. You have to move the coverage a little bit outside of the middle of the ice to be able to open up those lanes and execute. And play rolls on as he came up with a nice stop there. Slides the puck over to Martin. Great read with the stick. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And that's one way to help kill off this penalty as they get the puck out, Cheryl. Well, when you're on the PK unit, you have to be able to anticipate. They do just that. They're able to retrieve the puck and fire it down the ice. Makes no mistake on the clear, James. Hard and heavy on the stick. Grabs the puck. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to track and find the puck at all costs. It almost looks easy for him. Extended the lead to two. Well, James, it's exactly where you want to be. You have a two-goal cushion here, but you also know that your opponent's going to start pressing. There's a lot of game left here, and if they get within one, they'll be within striking distance. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. And he slides it quickly to Pendenza. Rips it. Misses over the net. Poked away in the offensive zone by Pendenza. Coils loving the puck. The Everblades gain control of it. Good read with the stick to break that up. Greenville's got a hold of it along the wall. Nice connection on cross ice pass. Sends a pass over. Right up Main Street and on the attack. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Moving into the attacking zone. Moves into the slot. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Pendenza. Coyle's got it in the defensive end. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Takes that pass back at the point. Hammers one. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Pittner. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Swamp Rabbits have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Quick feed to Sambrook. That's blocked. He grabs the puck here at the point. Takes a shot. Oh, and he 
just misses. What an opportunity there. Well, just is a big word, James, because when you have an opportunity like this on a primetime scoring area, you have to finish it off. He doesn't even hit the net. Can't hang on to the puck after taking it off. Greenville's got it in their own zone. On the attack along the boards. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Here's a shot. Textbook stop by Bednar. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. The Everblades need to find a way to convert on one of these scoring chances as they trail here in period number two. Greenville's won the defensive zone draw. Takes it at center. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that's blocked in traffic. Big time defensive play. The Everblades have been picking off passes left, right, and center. You know the coach has been... A game of inches, and he puts it off the outside of the post. The Everblades are trying to shrink their deficit in this game. They're playing aggressive in the offensive zone, and they just wire one off the post as they try and claw their way back in. Russell's going to get two for hooking on the play. Florida's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the openings have been. But what I love about it is they're not afraid to change it up. The motion on this power play in these sequences have really been the reason they've been successful. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. And that's knocked away by Greenway. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Moves the puck along the half wall. Shot! They score! And the power play strikes once again! Well, you know that specialty teams are so critical, James, and they have executed with the player advantage all night long. The Everblades needed that, Cheryl, and they seem to have some life now. Well, they've shortened the deficit, and there's nothing better to get you back in the game than one goal to put themselves on their toes. But again, they're going to have to have an attack mentality if they want to get an equalizer. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. The Everblades looking against the half wall. Great save by Fittner! Greenville's got it in their own zone. Takes the feed and center from the right wing. Moves it to the middle, and he denies that great opportunity there. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Jocelyn's got it in the offensive zone. Knocked off the puck. Greenville's looking to break out. Moves it quickly over to Russell. Beautiful stick set. Keep them from lighting the lamp. Oh, what a smart heads up play. inside the line. The Swamp Rabbits will play it in their own end. Takes control of the puck. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Good hit to pick it up the puck. Cormier's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. More than half the frame has been played here. Florida's trailing by one. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Florida's moving it along the wing. The Swamp Rabbits gain control of the puck. And he takes the feed. The Swamp Rabbits play it along the wing. And that's deflected. The Everblades gain possession. Moves it ahead from off the wall. Fires it on there. Denied by the puck stopper. Puck is frozen and will get a face off. Getting into the later stages of this period, it's a one goal hockey game. 3 2 is where we sit. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Puts it on net. Oh, how did that stay out? What a save by Pittsburgh. Rebound control. 
goal is critical in the game of hockey. Putting it to the corner, and now the offensive player has to pound the puck. Under siege, and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. The Everblades continue to trail here late in the second, despite having more chances here tonight. Florida's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. And that shot dies in traffic. From one point man to another. Huge steal at his own end. And he takes the pass. Greenville's on the attack. Here's a short pass to Pendenza. Slick feed. That eyes him on the play. Florida's got the puck along the boards. Through center. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Lewis. Takes the feed. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. The Everblades have the puck now. Gets the puck in deep. The Swamp Rabbits have it against the wall. Moves it to Such. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. The Swamp Rabbits take it along the wall. Here's a chance to set up now. Answered the call on that play. Newber's got a hold of the puck behind the net. Loses his balance on the play. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Answered the call there. Quick pass to Such. to get a stoppage in play. Both sides lining up for the face-off, and I can think of one padded goaltender who would love nothing more than a quick clear here, Cheryl. Uh, you know it, James, because the puck has been in the offensive zone. Just look at the last shift where they maintain pressure throughout that shift until they got that whistle. So they don't need to continue that because if you're the opponent and you're saying, hey, who's most vulnerable right now? You know it's the goaltender, so you want to keep him in. Both teams gliding into position, and the official set to drop the puck. Big stop just as time expires in the period. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. It's time for our Canada Bonanza. If the whole team scores in the next two minutes, you can get a free hamburger courtesy of our arena. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. Final frame is underway here. Florida's got him along the wall. Quick feed to Carpenter. We're still in the early stages of this period. Greenville's got a 3-2 lead at this point. Pendenza's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Moves it quickly over to Pendenza. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Never want to see yourself on that screen in the video room on a goal, James. There's been a defensive error, and then you get caught covering up, and everyone gets caught out of position. As a result, it's in the back of your net. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. Right 
Greenville's won the draw. Coyle's got the puck in his own zone. Takes a shot, and it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. Florida's got him along the wall. Here's a short pass to Riley. Florida's got it in the offensive zone. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Keeps a hold of it on the play. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Here's the puck. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Takes the shot. Comes up with the stop. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Takes the feed. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Here's a shot. And he stags that one with the glove. Slides it diagonally to Freeman. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. The swap rounds. Oh, the They got to put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. The frustrating calls, no question about it. They got to figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. Well, the power play has been great tonight, and this is when you want to be on the ice. You're just chomping on the bit to get back out there. For many days when you don't feel that way, so you gotta really enjoy these ones. They move the puck out of harm's way. Battling for it along the boards. Can't get a hold of that pass. Riley's last play was a tough one, James. He loses his balance, which makes it difficult for him to corral the puck and get it off with precision, but he makes the play. and one that he will want back. The puck is all around him, though. If he continues to get to the right spot at the right time, you got to figure he's going to go for him by the tendy. Here's a shot. That's good by Bittner. Goaltender covers up and will get a face-off. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the face-off. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Loose puck battle along the boards. Both teams back to even strength. Impressive job by the penalty killers on that play. Sometimes when your PK is struggling, you gotta get a bit of puck luck. And you know how you get it? By keeping your nose to the grindstone, working hard and finding ways to straight line skate. Get in the shot lanes, get to the middle of the ice, and when you can attack, attack the puck carrier. Quick pass to Sutch. Still lots of time left here in this frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Greenville's got the puck along the wall. Here's a shot. Denies him with a pass save. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. And they win the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Moves the puck over to Riley. The Everblades take it across the line. Big hit, and that frees up possession. You can see the Selly. The energy is certainly there, and now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. Well, that quick glove hand looks like a windmill, James. I think that was meant for the highlight reel. Unfortunately, you gotta catch the puck if you want to make it there.
The Everblades jump in front by a one-goal lead and a critical stage in this one, too, here, Cheryl. Well, yeah, if they want to close this game out, it's all about managing the clock and managing the puck on your stick. You want to make sure you take care of business, which means you got to own the puck and not turn it over in vulnerable spots. Florida's got the puck along the wall. The Swamp Rabbits scoop it up along the boards. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. It takes hard work in the intangibles to get available for a one-timer in that low slot area. You know it's going to be a grind. You're going to have to fight for your space. He does a great job of it and buries it home. Florida's in the driver's seat now, up by two in this third period. Oh, yeah, and it's been a consistent effort from start to finish here, James. Now they got to make sure that they play this last little bit the same way they started. Aggressive on the puck, but be cautious when they need to. Sometimes a simple play is the effective one. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Greenville's gained possession. Right through center and into the offensive zone. a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have a hard stick, be heavy on it, with it on the ice, battle and compete for it. He does it and he buries it. The Swamp Rabbits definitely needed that one here in the third. You feel their energy amping up as they get through this third period, and they'll need to have their best hockey at the last if they want to get back in this one. Greenville's got the puck against the boards. Florida's looking to break out of their own end. The Everblades pick up steam and are on the attack. The Swamp Rabbits move the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Handles the pass. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Oh, he just got enough of that one to keep it out. More than half the period has expired. Greenville still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. The Swamp Rabbits get a hold of the puck in their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. And he takes the dish. Grabs possession of the puck. That is why hockey players are warriors. What a block. This is my kind of play, James. You gotta get in the shot lanes late in the third period. You're trying to preserve a lead, and what it does just ignites everyone on the bench. That's a huge play. Greenville's got the puck against the half wall. Fires it on net, and just got a piece of it to keep it out. Here's the chance, and there's the save. Florida's got a hold of the puck. He's been all around the paint tonight, James, just showing off his skill set. As a goaltender, you're always working on different exercise, tracking with your eyes, foot movements, everything that power pushes you across the crease. And unfortunately, this time, he's just too slow getting across, and it hits him and goes to the back of the net. The Everblades have to be feeling good about the position they're in down the stretch now, Cheryl. I'd take a two-goal lead at the back half of the third period any day of the week, James. It's just about closing it out now, and that comes down to managing the puck and limiting any turnovers. Slides the pass over to Carpenter. The Everblades get a hold of the puck along the boards. Scores on the rebound. He pops it. Oh, he burns the goaltender on that one. Picks up the rebound and buries it home. Boy, looks frustrated now. James knows that you got to redirect that puck to the safe spot. The Everblades are out of themselves at night, and they probably don't want Across to Pendenza. 
puts it on net, and that goes off a of body. The Swamp Rabbits have it now. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And a great scene. The Everblades work it through center. With possession along the wall. Snaps one here on the slot. And that somehow stayed out of the net. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. The Swamp Rabbits once again send out their power play unit. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go, fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup, and man, is it working tonight. Oh, what a save in front! Trying to get it down the ice, and he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Martin's taking it from his own end. On the attack, they come down the right wing, and that's deflected off someone in front. Greenville's got the puck. He drives to the sweet spot. Comes up with the stop. Here's a chance to get it out. Gets it out of his own end. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Swamp Rabbits play it along the boards. And they turn it over in the neutral zone. The Everblades are dominating play, and in my opinion, James, this all starts to work away from the puck. When you close quickly, you retrieve it first. They've done an excellent job of that, and it's gone the other way, and they've cashed in. Down the right side and into the zone. Sets it in front. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. Oh, he'll feel that one. Come on. Into the offensive zone. And that's stopped. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Florida's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time. A big time late in this third. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Moves the puck across to Martin. Quick shot. Florida's going to hang on for a whistle. The Everblades lead it late in this third period. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. An excellent team performance here in Game 5. Gives them the win and they take a 3-2 series lead. Well, now they're in the driver's seat, right, James? I mean, they're one win away. They'll get two shots at it, and it's about putting pressure on your opponent. They're in a do-or-die moment now, but you got to be expecting their best, and if they can put the foot on the gas pedal, they're going to close this series out. Well, hopefully you're just as excited as we are to call the next postseason game down the road, and we will see you then. From all of us here at EA Sports, thanks for joining us.